Did you find that stuff I put out there? Put some stuff out there to see if you was going to eat it or not. Did you eat other stuff? Raccoon. Don't go nowhere. I put some stuff down there for you too. Where you been at? What you been doing? You didn't want none of that apple? I put some apple down there. There's some apple. I, I cut some apples up and I took an orange, a tangerine. I cut a tangerine in half for you. I got this right here for you right here. I got this for you right here. Let me give it to you. Let me give it to you. He's nervous here. Let me get close to him. I'm going to put these cookies down there. He'll run off. But he'll only run right down there and stop and turn around and wait on me to call him back. Okay, here I go. Here, here. Hey, here I come. Here I come. Come here. Right here. Come here. Right here. Uh, get them get cookies right there. Get them cookies right there. Yeah. Get them cookies right there. Get them cookies right there. Yeah. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. I'm trying to get this bag up so I can give you some more pecans. There's plenty of cookies right there in that thing. There's apples. That's apples and orange. Tangerines in there. That's apples and tangerines in there. You want to get you a cookie? You want some pecans here? Get them pecans right there. Get them pecans right there. Here. Come here. <coughs> Get them pecans right there. Come here. Get up in there. Come here. See that mosquito flying around his head? That raccoon right there. <clears throat> I've touched that raccoon before. When he runs out of pecans, he'll come over here and try to get him out of the bag. I think it was last night or night before he come up there and I touched him. Yeah, my, co my cousin gave me uh, some tangerines that he, he grows. He gave me... Um, Probably about 30 or 40 tangerines. Oh, wait. Hang on, raccoon. Don't go nowhere. Tangerines. They, I've cut them up. They've been out here about an hour, maybe two hours. They've been sitting out here. But, uh, raccoon, I smell like tangerine now. But he gave me, <clears throat> he gave me about 30 or 40 of those and gave me over 10 pounds of pecans in the shell. I probably got 25 pounds of pecans in the house now. But the holidays coming up, Thanksgiving coming up and all, I'll give them away to friends and people I know. Every year, people take some to church and give them to people at church and all of them. Felt like a mosquito was on my ear. I think he was. I think he done bit me. Old Smacker right there. They call him Smack for the short. Smack for short. Man, I tell you what. Right through my butt. is so scoose. My butt double T. And that's a... Small double T, too. I'm so damn bony. Raccoon, I'm bony. Old oh, Smacker. That's him right there. He gets nervous sometimes, but he'll get used to you as long as you don't mess with him. 
I forgot to bring them cranberries out. I've got them sitting right there on the table. And I was just looking at them too, and I grabbed the pecans and not the cranberries. I need to put about another handful of cranberries in there. I've been giving them pecans in the shell to the uh, squirrels. They've been storing them up. They got two or three spots they store the pecans up. Like a mosquito, it was on my elbow, back of my elbow. Yeah, mosquitoes is out right now. That rain we had from the hurricane got everything soaking wet, holding water. Now we got some big old fat mosquitoes coming out, and they do bite, and they do hurt me. They hurt me when they bite me. I don't like mosquitoes. Now, when you take a bee sting, uh, a, bee, a bee sting me, it does not hurt me. I do not swell up, and there is no pain. But if a mosquito bites me, I swell up, and I'm in pain. Mosquitoes hurt me and bees do not. Wasps, they don't hurt me. I mean, a bunch of them jump on me, jumped on me, they'd hurt me, but just one of them bite me, it doesn't hurt me. When I was young, we had a corn crib where we um, stored corn up for the cows and hogs and stuff. But when we was young, I was real young, and there was always a wall building nest up in the on the outside, up in the very tip top of the roof. And we'd always take fishing poles and um, tie something around the end of the fishing pole, and then light it on fire, and stick it up there, and burn the the bees off the uh, nest and then we get, get the nest down and get the larvae out of the nest and fish with that fish with the larvae out of the nest and then one day I went over there and I was going to do one of them there and I stuck the fire up there and the fire went out and all the wolves come down and about 10 of them stung me in the head and in the back but ever since that day they don't hurt me. I think I got immune to them that day. That's just like poison ivy. I, poison ivy does not bother me. When I was real, real young, we lived on a creek on the Saltwater River. And uh, we had a swimming hole down down in the woods, a little bit further down. And um, there was some big trees, but they had poison oak growing up the uh, trees. And uh, we'd climb the trees to jump out of the trees in the water. But we'd go down there and we'd get a rash from the um, poison oak. But after that, after about one, one summer of doing that, we never... Never got a poison oak anymore. You could rub it on me and it don't bother me. Look at him. He just froze. That old raccoon right there is running out of pecans. He's starting to think right now. That raccoon doing some thinking right now in that bag. How many, how many you got in that bag right there, raccoon? How many you got in that bag right there? That raccoon there, he's thinking now. He won't know if he, he won't. That raccoon wants to know if you need a good buddy. <laughs> that raccoon, he he be your good buddy. Put more pecans down there. He be your good buddy. Put more pecans down there. Oh, 
Well, I hope pecans are good for them anyway. And I do want to thank Golden Nugget because Golden Nugget, she's feeding these raccoons for about a week now, maybe two weeks. Probably two weeks Golden Nugget can be feeding these raccoons, pecans. Ain't that right, raccoon? Raccoon, she, he was, he was raccoon, that raccoon. I just heard something, then I heard a dog bark. That raccoon heard it. I heard something, raccoon heard something, and then the dog barked. And the, the light's on next door over there, the outside light. My back hurts. <laughs> you ain't gonna steal this bag. Come here. Come here. Come here. If you want some more, you gotta come in. I ain't going. I ain't going to you. You got to come over here to me. I'm not going to you. Let me put them right here. Come here. Get them right there. That right there make it easy on you. Hmm. That make it easy on you right there. You could just stand beside the breakfast table right there and eat all you want to eat right there. I'm gonna put some more down there. There's a neighbor's dog. That dog scared him. And that raccoon, he'll walk straight towards that dog, but that raccoon, that raccoon knows that dog's on a chain. He can't go nowhere. I don't know what that raccoon hears. Ouch. Well, they did not, they did not eat any, he, that one right there did not eat any of these, uh, apples. I, I cut up some apples, some small pieces of apples. I cut an apple up and give him that tangerine. He did not eat none of it. He's listening to something, trying to decide what he wants to do. He keeps living over there in that yard next door. A little, that's what that little old dog was barking at. He's smelling the air now. Taking his time and listening. Smelling the air. He's walking off slow. Oh, my back is killing me. My back, my back, my back. All right, there he goes. No, he stopped right there. Now he's looking straight across at the next door neighbor. Like he sees something or hears something. You see him right. I just heard a door shut or something. About one thirty two o'clock in the morning. That raccoon, he, he just walked off. Stop this video, stop.